Hello and welcome to Manor Park Classics. My name's Tim. Here we are with our weekly roundup of new arrivals for our auction in September. Now then, you normally see Jim with me, but unfortunately Jim's away on holiday this week, isn't he? So well, I've got the lovely Damien with me. We believe he's having his, his wig reapplied. We, but... we, we heard a whisper. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, you've got to put up with me today, I'm afraid. Welcome, um, welcome. But you've, we've got some lovely, lovely cars to show you. We so have. Lead on, Tim. Uh, well, um, first off the block is this lovely Four Cortina Mark III, uh, two-litre GXL. This is quite incredible, actually. This has had a, a full restoration. Um, right. And it really does look a picture. Um, at some point, Phil is going to show everybody the inside. The inside, yeah. But also under the bonnet is super clean. It had an engine rebuild, I believe, uh, in the last year. Right. Um, and you just don't see them like this. You don't, you don't. And the nice thing about this is it appears completely stock, doesn't it? So, you know, you've got all the GXL niceties, like the, the nice door mirrors, you've got the vinyl roof. It's finished in this lovely gold color. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it looks an absolute treat. Well, with the tan vinyl, it's, it, it, it's beautiful. Yes. The, nice. The interior has been done so nicely. Nice thing, that. yeah. Um, guide on this one is 15 to 17, something like that, uh, which in the current market, I think is about right. Um, these are going for decent money now with it being a GXL as well. I just love the look of that car. Well, yes, I mean, and, and there won't be many in this condition. No, no absolutely. So okay. that, that's a lovely thing. That's a nice one, that one. So let's move over to the next one in the next hall. So on to the next then, Damien. Um, 1989 Ford Escort RS Turbo. Mark II. Mark II, indeed. This, indeed. this has had a restoration as well, hasn't it? It has indeed, it, this, yes. This, 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 this paint work is far too beautifully <laughs> resplendent it is. to be it's, original. It's but beautiful. It's, it's a nice job, isn't it? It's a very nice job. And um, more importantly, have a look at that interior. Now, uh, the first thing that strikes me is the seats don't sag. <laughs> Correct. It's, it's a fast forward and the seats aren't sagging. The seats aren't sagging and the, the bolsters are in good nick as well. Yeah. Um, the nice thing as well, it seems to have the original Ford radio cassette as well. Yeah, I spotted nice that. Touch. Yeah, that's always nice. It's, 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 you know, it's done in a very you know, nice original really manner. Really original interior there. One um, or two little interesting aftermarket. You could argue that they were of the period. So you've got the big board exhaust there. Are they smoked rear lights? That looks like smoked rear lights as well. Um, but overall, this car presents very, very nicely. Uh, let's have a look under the bonnet. Is that nice and original that is as very well? Clean yeah. As yeah. Well. That's, um, so uh, the vendors told us that this car's had a full engine rebuild. Um, so uh, by the looks of it, that is a very clean engine bay. It's yeah. It That's, is, uh, and he's even gone to the trouble of fitting some mirrors here in the bonnet as well. So uh, you can you can look at it while you admire <laughs> while you admire yourself at the well, same do, time. Do, do your hair <laughs> and do yeah. your hair. Yeah. So this one um, guide is somewhere between fifteen and seventeen. Uh, MOT through to next year, um, and tons of history. So you've got lots and lots of invoices for paperwork. Um, and paperwork for invoices and bills paid over the years. So it's a fine looking car with stacks of documentation. Yeah. yeah. Now they're always super popular these, aren't they? they? Are. We they always are. get loads of yep. interest on them. We do well turbo. on these. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a lovely thing. Okay, and on to the next. Well, Tim, I'm in my happy place. I love a mini moke. I, I love driving these. These are so much yes, fun. They are. Unless of course it rains when they're less fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. This is 1965. 1965 Austin mini moke. Yep. Um, it's had a lot of restoration work done to it. It's it in lovely, lovely condition. Yeah. Um, you know, it's got a, a 998. Correct. Uh, Little A series, front, 998. Which is probably as much power as you need in yeah, something absolutely. that weighs yeah. a little bit more than a tin can. Correct. Um, Correct. But what a fantastic car. It's and lovely. This, this is all kind of quite crazy up here. We've got a heater. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how we heat the heat in, but it's, it, it's a monster of a heater. It is a monster of a um, heater indeed. We've got extra oil gauge temperature here. Heated seats. When was the last time we saw heated a seats. with heated seats? Well, those are, that's a very careful addition by the guy who restored it, actually. It is, but look, look at this. He's not fitted some horrible out-of-place you know, switch. We've got little toggle switches. Yes, with beautiful little lights. They just, it, you know, yeah. it could be standard. We know it's not, but, you know. And so, yeah. and lots of useful stuff, rev counter. Yep. You know, but 
little clock there as well. Under the bonnets. And under the bonnets, this equally is as nice. clean. Yeah, so we've got a, a 998 here, like you said, Damo. Um, it's, it, you know, this is all that you need, really. It's very clean underneath here. There's an uprated carb there, so I understand that's a HIF 38 for those of you in the know. We've got some wiring here as well, so if anybody wanted to put some additional spots on the front of it, they can do. Really simple to work on these engines, plenty of accessibility, um, and just, you know, just about enough power. That's all you need for something like this, but have a look at this. What's this now? This, this... So, so this, this is fantastic. I was rather taken with this. So this, this is a sign, I think, of the, uh, of, of, the quantity, of the quality of the man involved who did this restoration. Our, our vendor is an engineer. He is an engineer, and look at that. That's a bespoke bonnet stay, got, which slots on that look... nut there, and then pops it under there like that, and then away you go. So this is a quality restoration. It's an indication of the level of detail. It is, um, it is. Should probably say we've got the, the weather equipment at the back Yeah, we've got the we? weather equipment. Um, which looks to be pretty new. Yes, looks, it does, looks, it does. I've not, I don't think we've had it up yet, but- No, it, we haven't. It we looks haven't. in fine fettle from here. But um, you know what? I think, I think there's a joy to bad in this car, driving it as it is, without the hood on, in all weathers. You've got the heater, you've got the heated seats. What more do you want? It's absolutely <laughs> battering down outside Tim. It is. Are, are you are you saying you fancy a drive? Maybe I'm not. not maybe sure maybe I'm not. Doing. Maybe but not. But as soon as the sun comes out, I will be bagsying this car. Today. I bet. I bet. I'm, these are just it's great. It's great. Quite a smile on your face. And, just and driving it. Just price wise on this, uh, we, we've guided this somewhere between ten and twelve. Uh, not a huge amount of money. No. I think of the manpower or the man hours spent on this restoration. Um, that's many, many hours looking at the quality of this restoration. And what, what did our last one go for? I think it was about 20 grand. It was, it was. Like so that seems like you know, yeah, a really keen like estimate for this car. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, just fantastic. Super, fantastic super example. Fun. Yeah, fantastic great fun. fun. Okay then, so on to the next. The next few cars, myself and Damon, are going to show you are some re-entries into our September auction. All these cars you're about to see are from our July auction, which didn't sell. So we've had a chat to the vendors, had a chat about maybe reducing our prices. And um, so here we go, here's the first. What have we got here? Subaru. Subaru, 1992 Subaru SVX four-wheel drive. It has a funny name in Japan that we can't remember, but Paul Cowlin can, because Paul's got one of these. Um, and he was spoken about it on the second of his walk around videos for the July auction. So right. if you want to find out you know, more detail of that, run that back, watch that back with Paul, because he loves this car um, yes. and, and he's an owner. But just briefly, it's, uh, this is a JDM car, so it's come over from Japan. Um, it's a full four seater yeah. ish. Um, <laughs> and the styling is just way out there. It's very, it is, very 90s. It? This, this cutaway window yeah. thing was a real kind of late 80s, early 90s styling cue yep. that, that was helpful if your glass house was a bit bigger than your door yes. and you wanted the, the, the windows go down. But I think it's, it's probably just been used to make it look cool in this car. Looks great. And it's great. It, it does look fantastic. It does, yeah. Um, Paintwork's nice. Paintwork's lovely. It's a Subaru, so it should be pretty robust, You'd I like would have thought. So. Um, they were all automatic. Yeah. Um, and I presume it's a turbocharged. 3.3. Is it 3.3? I think so. I'll, I'll defer to your grace and knowledge there. I think there. so, 3.3. Um, but um, you know, it, it's, it's super rare and you're gonna turn up at any car show and you're unlikely to park next to another one and you're gonna have absolutely. a load of conversations, absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. MOT on this one till June next year. It was guided between 10 and 14. Go on, what is We're it now? I'm thinking maybe eight will buy this car. Really? So oh, right, okay. guided that's, somewhere between seven and a half and eight and a half thousand. So uh, that's yeah. A, Big movement on where it was. So Potential that's bargain there yeah, that's, for somebody, that's I reckon. Exciting. Uh, on to the next one, which is this lovely, incredibly original looking BMW 320i two door. It's an E30, of course. Now, our colleague e Jim likes E30 is the one everyone wants, isn't it? Yeah, our colleague Jim loves these, doesn't he? And, and I must admit, I've come round to the benefits of these because I think they've aged so well. Um, and this one looks so original. It's, it's, in, it's, it's not been tinkered with. So many of them are. How often do you see one that isn't on cross-spoke alloys? Yep. Um, this is still on the original trims and they're all in 
Nice order as well, aren't they? Yeah, it looks super. That it's super. It's a manual box, five speed. You've got a uh, sunroof there, steel sunroof. Two liter six. Two liter six. Which is sewing machine smooth. Just Creamy a smooth. wonderful, wonderful engine. If you Only, haven't uh, driven one of these, yeah. I can't tell you how smooth they are. Only 47,000 miles as well on that one. Yeah, yeah. So um, have a look at our website for the guide on that one. Uh, let's have a look at the next one then, Damo. So here we have a super desirable 1983 Ford Escort RS1600i. Uh, I think they only made just less than 9,000 of these. Yep. Um, and these were the pinnacle at the time they above were. the XR3i, weren't they? Yes, and um, didn't I know it? Oh, you wanted one, I, did you? I wanted one. I wanted one. Oh, yes, did I want one. <laughs> Had it been mine, I would have gone for the um, Caspian Blue one, I think, with the grey stripes. But this one is equally attractive in this grey. Uh, nice example, 70,000 miles. Yep. Long MOT through to next year. And it looks in nice nick, um, both exterior and interior. You've got the RS, uh, RS seats in there, the RS steering wheel. Yep. Obviously, you've got the RS alloys on the outside. Five, five of them. The, the, the spare always goes missing, but the, the, we, have, that one. we have a spare. And Excellent. we have a rear parcel shelf free of Ooh, big, massive Dixon speakers. <laughs> Which Dixon. is what you would have done yeah, in period, yeah. wasn't it? That's what I did do, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's I'm exuding. selling my cars. Yes. And of course, we've got the, um, the spotlights up front, which really made it for me. You knew whether you had an RS1600i in your rear view mirror because with the bonnet the stripes, the spots, and the, uh, the rectangular spots underneath the, the bumper as well. So that is, that's just a whole load of nostalgia there, isn't it? So the reserve has dropped on this one to 24, to, uh, 24 26 is the estimate, sorry, yeah. the reserve. Yeah, um, yeah which is a, you know, a, a nice reduction on where it was before. Correct. Uh, and you know, there, there really can't be many of these still surviving. No, no. Certainly, so, not, certainly not in this condition. Yeah. Looks super. So, so Damien, <laughs> here we are in our next re-entry. How cute is this? Yeah, they are super cute. They're actually cuter than minis, and I'm, I'm not yeah. sure no, you know, right. that will go down too well with you. But yeah, yeah. yeah no, this, this is absolutely lovely. It's a 1968, I think, Fiat 500F. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to spend all video talking about colour schemes and, and things <laughs> looking great, but this is lovely. The tan against the blue. It's great, isn't it? It just looks fantastic. It's lovely. It's in um, lovely, Nick. I had one in the days. So I paid many millions of pounds for somebody to restore one of these, and it was beautiful. But this one is equally as nice as mine. Um, I love the baby blue, the tan leather. It's done 26,000 kilometres. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know, but come and make your own I, mind I, up. I'm not sure you'd do 126,000 kilometres if it fails, because that's quite committed. <laughs> it is quite committed. But, committed you know, motoring. You never know. You never you know. Never this, know. this is nice as well. Yeah. To, to get a bit of uh, fresh air. And yep. these drive so nicely. I mean, you know, they're not a ball of fire. No. But they do drive really nicely. They're probably fast enough when you consider how yeah. small you are compared to. Yeah, yeah, the rest of the traffic. Great little city car for somebody, this, I think, or a little a little commuter car. Uh, and price-wise on this one, um, this has been reduced now, somewhere between six, four and a half and five and a half thousand pounds, which that, I don't that think... That sounds amazing value for I a 500. That's great value, that. I think that's great value, because it would cost you that to... Re well, and more to restore something like this. Exactly. exactly. And here's You've... one ready to go. So, uh, yeah, lovely, this one. Can you get out? There we go. <laughs> All right, so on to the next. So on to the next one then, Damo. What we've got here is a very nice TVR. Tuscan, but not just any old Tuscan, it's a Tuscan S. Right. I'm guessing the S stands for speed. Because it's I a quick say, thing. I can say something only. ruder. You could if, say something you know, ruder. When somebody yeah. puts their foot down, you might <laughs> say something else being with S. Um, but what a great looking car. Yeah. Oh, it's a stunning looking car. I mean, it's quite sad that we've lost TVR, isn't it? Because they did mm. make the most amazing looking cars, both outside and inside. Yes. This one's quite unusual because they tend to come in some pretty leery colors. There mm. you go, I said I wasn't gonna talk about colors again, but I am. Yeah. But I have to with this one because they, they, they came in loads of leery colors, but this isn't a leery color. This is just really, really nice color, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I believe this is Rover. This is a Rover color, white oh. gold. Close to your heart then, so Rover. There, there may well be a Rover 800 finished in this particular hue out there. <laughs> I know which I'd rather have. Uh, <laughs> so 25,000 miles on this one. So nice low mileage. Oh, even better than that. Yeah. That engine yep. um, was rebuilt 12,500 miles ago. Right. Uh, okay. Which is a really important wow, thing with this important. particular generation yep. of, uh, of TVRs. 
you know, they all need a rebuild at some point. This one's had it done. Yes. So that gives you a bit of peace of mind. Wasn't many miles ago. Mm. Now this, um, this has also had a big reduction. It in has, its it has, estimate, yeah, yeah. Hasn't it? So we're now looking estimate of somewhere between 19 and 21,000 pounds. This particular car was guided at somewhere between 23 and 25,000 pounds. Right, okay. So, so that is a decent reduction um, for what is a fantastic looking car with a nice low mileage and an MOT through to next year as well. Private place? Of course. The Usk. Tusk. 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 Like that. Yes. Um, so uh, we, Will's going to... We're, we're going to pass over to Will, are Yeah, we? we're handing over to Will. Let's He's hand over to Will. Finish off. He'll finish off and we'll see you soon. Hello, my name's Will. You stuck with me today because Jim, Tim and Damien couldn't be bothered coming into work. First car we have is a 1948 Citroen Traction Avant. Originally supplied to France, as most of them were. Imported into the UK in 2016. It was a barn find, um, restored in 2017 and 18. Fully operational. Nice little drive, this one. It's got some more modern seats, make it a bit more usable. And we also have this 1972 Volvo P1800 ES, which has just come in, it's still a bit hot. So if you want to see this one in person, we're taking this to Tatton Park at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So come have a look at it, come have a cup of tea and have a chat with us. And Jim and Tim will give you a bit more information on this one next week. Thank you for watching. If you require any further information on any of these vehicles, please head over to our website at www.manaparkclassics.com.